In this C-Flush video, we're going to upgrade a set of old fluorescent cabin lights. We will replace the old lights with newer, more efficient LEDs. We'll start by removing the mounting screws and removing the fixture, then unscrewing the wire nuts that connect the electrical wires. As you can see, the light fixture leaves a big hole in the ceiling. This is part of the reason that we're going to rewire the old fixture instead of trying to replace it. We will be replacing the fluorescent tubes with these LED light bars. We start by removing the old fluorescent tubes, which are clearly burned out. With the bracket clear, we start by adding the double-sided mounting tape for the LED bars. We then connect the electrical fittings to the LED bars. We're going to create a line of four bars. In order to fit all four bars in the mounting bracket, we're going to wind up zigzagging the electrical wires back and forth. Next, we press the LED bars in place against the mounting tape. The double-sided tape wouldn't last through the first hot summer day, so we're going to actually hold it in place with the silicon adhesive. We then test the LED lights before taking the fixtures back to the boat. While the LEDs themselves run off 12 volts, the kit was originally designed to run off our traditional 120 volt house outlet. Since we want the LEDs to run off the 12 volt house batteries on the boat, we're going to cut out the excess wiring. We then use a wire stripper to strip the insulation off the wires. Next, we crimp on the wire connectors. This process has been pretty straightforward, but we do want to check for polarity on the inlet wires. Typically, any wire that has a dash mark or a ribbed line on it is the negative. In this case, I suspect the gray wire is negative. To test this, we connect the wires from the old power source to a multimeter. When we turn on the switch, we should see 12 volts positive and not 12 volts negative. We'll do the same test for the power wires on the boat. Typically, red is positive and black or yellow is negative. We'll crimp the white wire with the gray dash lines on it to the black and the other wire to the red. This is the finished installation. You'll notice that the old brass bezel has been painted silver. Any light would have been an improvement over the old broken one, but the LEDs draw very little amperage and put off almost no heat. This LED conversion wasn't as easy as a 10-year-old winterizing a generator with C-Flush, but it does come close. For updates on future videos with boat-related content, please click like for this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more information on cleaning and winterizing the raw water systems of engines, generators, and air conditioners, visit cflush.com or see our other YouTube videos.